Hello everyone, welcome to yet another tip of the week. This week we're going to be looking at drawing sandwich panels in Impact for Revit. So, as I usually say, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So I have Revit here and my Impact linked up. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw something straight from scratch. In Impact, when we draw something, you can use the Revit definition or you can draw with an Impact one. So I click draw wall and I select what I want to draw. In this case, I'll just draw the outline itself. Something like this here. And all the way up to there. So for me, this is fine here. And that'll just tell me you don't have a lift that can lift an element of 47 tons. Well, for me, that's fine, no worries. I'm going to split it in impact anyways. So I'm going to split them vertically, all of the panels at once. And I'm going to use these modular lines to actually split them. Here we go. Adding an end cap to it as well. And now it's going to work its way all the way around this small building we've made here. You can see it's already split the top one into one, two, three, four, five elements. So it's gonna make the elements all the way around here. So you can even follow it along here and see where it's splitting a little bit here as well. But it's, as you can see, it's jumping quite a lot forward when it's done. But now it's pretty much done with the splitting of uh, the panels. It's made the detailing as well and the actual ends of the elements. So everything you need is right there. Right now we can't see it because the view is set to show original. But if we go ahead and change it to show parts, then you'll actually be able to see that as well. So I'll click show parts and you can see now we have all these details here lifters and the elements, everything I need. We'll make a corner connection as well. I'm not gonna make all the connections because this is just a tip, of course. So I'll make a connect wall, select these two. I wanna do wire loop thing here. There we go. That's fine for me. Per 600. If you want more details of these things that I'm doing in the tip, visit our wiki watch one of our webinars, of course. It's slower, but it's much more into detail if you really want to learn how it works. Um, otherwise, you can pause this video, go very slow. <laughs> you can see some of the things I'm doing. So now it's done the corner. It's done the wire loops in the corner and everything like that. Um, ask me if I'm going to do another corner. In this case, I'm not. I'm going to add in the wire loops and the other connections, but I'm going to use a casted material template instead in this case. And I'm just going to take you know, all the panels I have up here. That's fine for me. And we will apply. Here we go, finish, and apply this one. So now it's gonna scan all the edges of the actual panels. And once it's done scanning, it's gonna do a lot of commands in Revit because it's gonna add in wire loops for all the sides that's necessary out of X amount of size for each element here. So that's what it's scanning through and doing right now. So now it's finished. And if we go into the 3D here, we'll see, oh, it's put in these wire loops nice and clean. And let's go in ahead and show the parts here. So you can see we have the insulation plates and everything around. And now let's go to the 3D again. If we want to add a little door, we can do that. And then we can add in reinforcement and make a drawing. And I'll say that's it for this week and for the tip. So I'm going to draw an opening. I'm going to take sandwich panels. I'm going to do a door. And I'm going to place it here. So there we go. And now, in this case, I want to 
save my wall panels. Because what happens when I save them is that I can make drawings of them. I'm just going to save these three here. Once they're saved, they'll become an assembly inside Revit. So here we have an assembly, here we have an assembly, and so on. So let me just apply some reinforcement to these two elements as well. It's going to finish applying that also. So you can see here, meshes and so on and so forth. We can, of course, draw manually and if we need extra reinforcement uh, by the door and so on. And what we can do now is we can create shop drawings. So I can, for example, select these two here and then create shop drawings of them. It says you modified it since you saved it. So that's perfect. So basically what we need to do is we need to save them again or update them so that we make sure they're in the database. The assembly uh, is uh, completely up to date and so on with everything that Impact wants to do. And then we're going to create the shop drawing. We're going to do sandwich panel shop drawing. And then it's going to create two drawings sets for each of these panels here. And then afterwards, it'll ask us which drawing do we want to open. And for me, I think I want to open up maybe both the reinforcement drawing and the main drawing for both elements. So it's going to open up four drawings for us now. Click OK. And here we can see in the wall that we have this symbol mesh that it writes. You have two of one. Um, we can go into the main drawing as well. See, we have all the measurements and the one with the door, all the measurements, the door and so on, end caps. And that's basically how you do it. You just keep going, add the end caps you want to the doors that you're doing, create the drawings so that they're done in the way you want them. You get everything automatically, the weight of the element, the volume and so on. But that's it for this tip of the week. And Stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.